Well, hello, everybody. This is Mad Frankie, the Mad Scientists. And I'm all alone today. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some stenciling with various stencils. Like there's this nice big giant thing. Husband said it was a circuit board, which is lucky because that's what I called it. <laughs> and various other bits and bobs and all these lovely, lovely colours. So I'm not entirely sure how to find... There it is. There it is. Got it. Got how it. To oh, hello. Find... I'm trying. I was trying to there find it the. Is, there it is. I just let me turn this down because that's going to be silly. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So hello, uh, hello Mariah, hello Anne. No, I go. Yes, I'm afraid not. So I'm going to have to keep looking at the uh, chat over here if I ever remember. <coughs> not something I've done before. I have been a bit busy, yes. Got various things. Let's see if we can clear the decks enough to actually do some work. <clears throat> I must just get some tissue. I've got some black tissue I want to have a go with today. One or two pieces of it there, and then I've got a whole load of it <clears throat> in my drawer. There we are. Cut already. So black tissue, wee -hee. It's not going to be able to sit there, of course, because I've um, got to be able to do things. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about the coughing. I thought I'd found a cure for it, but I hadn't. So I'm going to have a go with some of these. <coughs> so we've got uh, various colours like this one. It's called Flame. Hmm, it's a sort of orangey colour. <coughs> I have one or two reds. Just one or two. <laughs> I mean, some of these are, are old reds that I've had quite a while. And some of them are new. That's very old. And I've got a nasty feeling that's the one that goes globby. So we won't do anything with that. And I brought some of the yellows out as well because I want some oranges. So oranges need some yellows with the reds. And I'll probably mix something after a bit. But I've got all these... Lovely stencils, including the little surprise one, which Mariah knows all about, but I don't think anybody else does. And that one, well, those ones, because I've <coughs> got a single one as well, is here. So there we have the Sydney Z. The two pieces well I, I one piece I just did them different sizes to be able to use them and then I had a little play with it so we'll see what that's like <clears throat> hello Patricia I'm glad you're here did Mariah tell you about the uh the little Sydney Z thing I did oh look at this this is stuck I'm trying to get some acrylic sheets but I've got to wait for the next payday before I can get them for my big big one so in the meantime i've got this one. Oh, i better give that a bit of a a bit of a doodah probably use the other side you know <clears throat> probably use the other side it's probably going to be easier yes because it's all on one side so Let's have a go with that Sydney Z. I've been dying to have a go with that. 
I'll just trim it a bit actually because I don't want too big an area. Hello, Julie. I'm I'm trying. You'll have to bear with me because I'm I've got no violet today, so I'm trying to look at the chat every so often as well. I'm not used to that. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I uh, did that. This roller, this brayer, and I got an absolutely fabulous, fabulous ro uh, acrylic skin off it. Brayer skin, lovely. You have a clear sheet? Yes, I have a clear sheet. So that, I'm going to use this. So first we'll put some paint down. Now I'm going for reds here. So I want some that are just red, red, red. And let's have a go with a piece of this lovely black tissue. I've never used this before. So it's brand new trial to see if we can get anything off this. Ready? Steady? A red. What red should we use? I've got uh, various reds here, as you know. Uh, that's carmine. I've not used that one before. So let's have a little go with carmine. Now, I'll need some paper as well because I don't want to pull this immediately. Just red. So <clears throat> I've got paper waiting down the side here waiting for me. It's just ready. Is that one or two sheets? I think it's only one. Right, let's go. Oh, I have to hang on. I've got to put this cable round here because otherwise it will drag in paint and things. We don't want that, and we don't want it to suddenly that's better suddenly uh, lose power in the middle. That would be terrible. That's better. So this is the cleaned brayer, the first time I've cleaned a brayer properly. I mean, you can't count the other one. It was just such a thin skin. It wasn't worth bothering with. Not really. So, luscious carmine red. Good. Uh, where's the thingy? There it is. Pop that on and then pull it with paper. If I cut that a bit better, I could have put the other two at the side. But there we go. We think of these things halfway through, don't we? Yes, black tissue. Is it opaque? The tissue? I don't know. It's, well, not very. <laughs> I mean, you can see things through it. You can see my hand just about through it. So, hmm, not very. Let's get some of this off first. So I want to get that print. I've got a feeling what I should have done is use the centerpiece. I don't know what I did with the centerpiece. But there we go. We'll do this one first. Pull it, pull it. No, wait. Now, pull that up. It's got something. It's got something. Uh, I'm going to put this down first. Like that. I don't know whether this tissue has two layers. I mean, a different layer on the top. Um, additions to make it... I can't feel particularly... Can I? My hands are getting so non-sensitive these days, I can't tell. I'm going to stick this on the back of here. Like that, and see if I get anything from that. What do I do with my baron? Is it down there? Yes, it is. Baron. See if I can get some of that paint up on that. Well, probably not. It's probably dried already. Yeah, pretty dried. Get that out of the way. 
Here we go. Well, we've got something. I'm not sure. It seems to be quite pulling quite a lot of colour out. Hello, Sharon. Lovely to see you. I've got a feeling that I need the other half of that. I wonder where I put it. It's got to be around somewhere. I'm not going to start looking in the middle, though. I'm going to have a go with the other bit. Ooh, don't you run away. This bit. And this time I'm going to cut more off so that we can have a, a bit of a... a bit of a test. Just uh, take this off. It's rather like sort of redesigning it, isn't it, when you cut the edges off like this. I did that with my cascade of circles. I'm not very good at fussy cutting. That's why I got myself a Silhouette Studio, Silhouette Cameo. Anyway, so I've got that one. That's not quite right, that. Yeah. Lovely. Two of those. Let me just get rid of the junky bits. Pop that back in there. Now, I'm thinking that that red is a little bit on the well, it soaked in rather a lot, didn't it? It was okay on the white, but it soaked in quite a bit on there. I'm wondering whether I should put black paint on the white tissue. Oh, right. Well, it depends on whether you've got um, more than one doily stencil of the same pattern. Then you can always cut one and keep the other one. <laughs> um, has to do her job today. Yes. So, I think we'll start with these two, and I think we'll, well, I think we'll do it on, on the card, just to see what happens. I'll do it on the other side of this one. Right, and I might cut that actually, cut that out. You think I should cut that out? I can always. Uh, cut another one off. Uh, cut another one out. Yes, maybe. Or that way down. I don't know. Hmm. So let's. Uh, so that was carmine. I've got a a rather nice red down here somewhere. Quinacridone, a yellow red. Have a go with that one. Yes, you could buy some more. Yes, there's always that. <laughs> That's always the trouble. You think, well, if I had two or six or ten, I, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's have a go with this anyway. I need to mix some reds as well. So I need to make some more orangey colours. But I've also got another one. Woo, that wasn't a good idea. I now have tea. 
perhaps putting the tea there wasn't the best idea either. Let's put the tea somewhere else. And we'll mop up. God, oh, dear, dear, dear. I think we might be in trouble. You ever spilt tea on it? What a mess. Yes, well, we are not going to be doing anything very wonderful today if I'm spilling tea is anything to go by. Now, I've got some gold here that has got gum arabic in it. It's sergeant watercolour that doesn't stick to anything. But I added the gum arabic to make sure it would. But I don't know whether that's such a good idea to put on the on the gel plate. <sighs> I might have to put some more of this red on because, look, <laughs> I've let it dry too much. It's certainly a brighter colour than that. So let's put some more on and start again. You had a thought. All right. Why? What thought? Is it a good thought? Right, where did I put them? Pop them up there, didn't I? That one. And the other one, where's the other one gone? Hello, where's the other one? It's run away. Okay. Oh, it's there. Just going to give up and put you something else. But no, I found it. See, this is a different style of... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yes. Well, there is that. Have an idea and go and do it. Yes. Because you could just make notes, you know. And then you could go and do it after the stream, <laughs> in case you miss anything. <clears throat> yes, Patricia, write them down. That's what I meant, yes. That's what I do when I'm watching Patricia's streams. I'm always writing things down, questions to ask her, ideas and all sorts. Oh, don't tell me. I should be putting that on. Yes, I know. <clears throat> the paint is drying. Yes, that's what I was suddenly thinking. <clears throat> Not very well having an idea in the middle, but the paint dries. <laughs> I need my violet. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave that there for a second while I finish cutting it out. <laughs> Should have done this before, but I didn't think of it until I'd actually got it on the gel plate. <clears throat> See, once you're in the creative mind, then you start to have proper ideas. Did I send the file back? I really ought to send the file back to Mariah. Oh, did Mariah, um, did she get round to doing that, um, showing me what she'd done with the trailer bites? Because I know she did something with the tr different with the trailer bites. Yes, paint is drying. I know. I'm just hopeless. I wonder if there's something about the brain that simply cannot do two things at once, or my brain anyway. Yes, it's called um, 
ancientness. <coughs> now then. If this doesn't work, it doesn't matter. I can do another one. She's been rather cranky lately. Working does it to you. Cleaning does it to me. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe you should um, dirty something so that Mariah has something to clean, and make her feel a bit better. <laughs> she could come here. There's plenty to clean here. <laughs> Absolutely loads of it. Mind you, I burnt all the twigs, so you can't clean those now. They've gone. Airlift chocolate or coffee? You've been neglecting the garden. Well, our garden's just being rained on at the moment. In fact, they, they said there was going to be a sandstorm, and I think we got one. But it was very light. It's just just made the whole day look sort of murky yellowish color not a very nice color not really sepia more london foggy pea superish only without the actual drift fog now i've got lots of other stencils to show you and in a minute i should actually get round to that because i've now got this done at last <coughs> definitely need a violet so the that red doesn't work on the black tissue so at least we found something out let's see what we've got here oh now this isn't too bad at all i just want to see if i can get a little bit more probably not it's probably dry by now yes i think it's dry but that's a nice bright red. I wonder if that would work better on the tissue. That's quite a dark red. It's, it'll work on the light tissue. But what I want is black and red. And how am I going to get black and red? Any ideas? Patricia, you should be able to help me with that. Now, I'm, I'm going to try it with the tissue. I want to know if it's going to be possible. I think one side might be a bit um, slicker than the other. I'm not absolutely. Oh, I need to put. Uh, I need to put something else on there to pick it up with, don't I? Yes. Silly me. Now, red and silver. Silver would look good on that. <clears throat> or, or gold. Copper. I've got this gold, Amsterdam light gold. Yes, let's try that. See if that shows up better on the black tissue. Because that's not great. The first one, I mean. Well, we know that's dry because it wasn't coming up. And I spent ages doing absolutely nothing. Get on and do something sensible. Don't tell me I've got too much on that one. Yes, I know. Well, we'll get it up again. Oh, Patricia, I got this colour. You've not tried that one, have you? Naples yellow green. I'd love to try that one out. Now, I'm trying to do this because I want particular colours for a particular project, which is never a thing you want to do when you're gel printing. <clears throat> do you? you really, what you really want to do when you're gel printing is just play. 
if I have too too many ideas otherwise. That's better. That's much better. Getting the gold all over me. Put loads of brew sheets here and I'm having to use them all just to get the gold off. I put way too much on. Yes, I know. My fault. Yes. Yes. Oh, she stepped out for a moment, did she? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So let's have a go with this. I think this side is smoother than the other, but it's very difficult to tell because it's so thin that you don't really feel it properly. Oops. Oh my goodness, this is so thin that it's coming through on me. I'm going to have to use this as a secondary press. That black tissue is not coming up to my expectations or hopes. It seems to be quite, well, it's not wet strength, like the other one. You missed me making a lot of mess and asking you a question. What did I ask? I said, have you used the Naples yellow green? Naples yellow green. And I said, what else did I say? I asked something else as well. I did. I just did. I showed the tube of paint. This is coming through. Look at that. It's come through on there through this. That was the uh, light gold, Amsterdam light gold coming through this tissue. Oh, I'm going to get more than one pull off this. Uh -huh. Well, I've got a sheet of gold. <laughs> uh oh. You've got to be careful with this black tissue. It folds up on itself. Oh, it's completely folded up on itself. I'll show you later. I'm hoping to spread it out and let it dry. Ha! Saved it, I think. Now, this wasn't so bad. I'm going to put this, the other side of it, which I think is actually the correct side anyway, on top of that. See if we can get that print off. Achieving red and black, yes. See, I want to do red and black. I've been watching Froyle, and she's got some marvellous red and black, but then she can get black paper. And and uh, that <laughs> spent ages trying to search for that, uh, what do they call it, tie... Gossamer lace paper. It looks like something out of a pair of knickers. <laughs> yes, I'm going to leave that on for a little bit. I'm hoping to get the other bit of this on there, on the other side. But it went straight through. The red didn't seem to show up very well on this black tissue. I think I might be better. That's what I was asking. I might be better putting the some black paint on the white strength tissue, wet strength tissue, and then putting something on that. Because you would it look like it, or a lacy bra or something. But it was sort of like like grid pattern, grid with dangly bits coming off. And it, she said it felt like fabric, but it looks like. But it is classed as paper. It was um, Japanese, not Japanese, Thai. Red metallic might be better. Yeah, that's a thought. I don't have. I don't think I've got any red metallic. Well, that's silly. I must have red metallic somewhere. Yes, but not available. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to leave that one for a bit. I'll get the big plate out. I'll get the other big plate out now. What is that hiding under there? Oh, that's part of my washer. I cut a washer. Pop that over there to dry. 
and get the biggie out. Move the paints to the back. See, I've got the use of doing washers. My idea. Oh, yes. What do you think about the idea of putting. Yeah. What do you think about the idea of putting Sergeant Watercolor, to which I've added gum Arabic, on the gel plate? I've not tried it yet in fear of doing some damage to the plate or just not being able to get it back off again. There we go. All set again. Now then, let's, we'll have another go with the Sydney Z when you, when you think about my question. If I want to get red and black, what's the best way to do it? The black tissue doesn't seem to be living up to my expectations. It could just be that... Uh, Maybe I need red tissue. I don't know. Gel medium with the gum Arabic. Okay. I've got matte medium. Might make it a bit... Um... Oh, by the way, I got this today. It's um, got a faint lemon and lime... Uh, sent to it so it says the thing is if it doesn't work on this which it should do surely then i can also use it on my wooden bowls which we've had quite a long time and i've got a wooden tray that's actually warped a bit and beginning to crack so it will work on that for sure so it might work on here it's some um, mineral oil with organic lemon and lime extracts I hope so. I hope so. I don't know. See, now that might work a bit better now, now that I've cut it. But what do I do it with? Do I do it with white card, black paint, red paint? What do you think? Do you do it white tissue, black paint, red paint? Not sure. I will sit and wait for the answers. <laughs> See, I've got this one. That's rather nice as well. I'm looking forward to trying that one. But in the meantime, let's... I mean, I want to try and get something out of this. So that's got the carmine. And that's got the yellow-red. The matte will work, but you will lose your gloss. Fine, fine. Not yeah, well I can I've got um gloss medium. I'm sure I've got some fairly thick ones, but I was thinking of something less thick than that. Matte, super heavy gel, no, that's not the one. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that now. I just want to think about this red. I want to get um black background with red images. Really? Oh, that's good to know, Anne. If your paper is wet, it won't work. What won't work? I've only got it on top chat. Why is that? <clears throat> oh, I wish there was somebody to talk to. I mean, voices. It's very quiet in here. Let me see. Let's get some white strength tissue out and put some black down. And then we'll come back to when it's dry. Come on. 
couple of bits of it there. Actually, when that gold is, um, is dry, I might be able to get some red on top of that. It's possible. I mean, this, this, this is the one that was trying to fold up on itself when I took it off the board, off the gel plate. It's really wet at the moment, but I should better get some red on that, surely. Wouldn't you think? The paint on the paper will come off on the plate. <clears throat> you can't do two layers? Okay, Julie. It's a pity I can't get you in here, Patricia. Yes, I could um, post the link to the... So I can invite you in, I think. Invite. Copy to clipboard. Right. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> P, 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 P. Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. Where's Patricia? Search P. There you go. Message P. Paste. If uh, that works and you can follow the link and come in. If the paper is not dry, I'd recommend you to it. Yes. Well, I've given put a link in chat, not this chat. But in the, because um, this is on my phone, I haven't got the chat on the Kindle because I'm using the Kindle to film. So I've gone to um, uh, fa uh, Facebook chat and put the link in there. If you can get to your Facebook chat, there should be a direct link. Link, a direct link link. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. I could put a red layer on there. That would be nice. Yes, let's put a red layer on there in the meantime. Just a flat red layer. Where's my yellow red? I'm going to get a red layer on some black tissue. <coughs> Oh, dear me. Well, this is on the right side. I'm back. Hello, Julie. Welcome back. Take any else there? It's barely enough on there as it is. Right, I'm just going to put this on. Not seeing anything. We need M. You need to look at the chat on Messenger or on Facebook because the chat you're looking at there is the chat, the live chat for the stream, which is not where I put it. I could try putting it on the the other chat. I don't know if I can do that. Let me see. There we go. See if that works. There you go. Try that one. What if you spread the red and then put down a mask before pressing paper on? Yes, that's what I did before. <clears throat> you can come in if you like. Yes. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> in a group no it's in the messenger chat you know but i put it in this chat now as well because i didn't think i could do that before but i've done it now so all, all she's got to do is press on it and that should take her to the uh broadcast then i can 
uh, add her to the stream. I can I can add um, Patricia to the stream. She's not showing yet, so she hasn't turned up yet. See where it says Fran on the edge, StreamYard, blah, 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 and then some letters. If you click on that, you should be able to get in, I think. Yes, there you are. I can now make you live. Uh, add to if you stream. click on that, you should be able to get in, I think. <laughs> hey, yes, there you there. are. I can now make you live. Uh, Hello, Patricia. You should be able to get in, I think. <laughs> hey, yes, there you are. I can now make you live. I'm here. Uh oh, let me turn my speakers off. I've got a nasty feeling it's doing a loop the loop. I'm here. Uh oh, let me turn my speakers off. I've got a nasty feeling it's doing a loop the loop. I'm here. Yes. Turn my speakers off. I've got a nasty feeling it's doing a loop the loop. I do not understand technology. Turn my speakers off. I've got a nasty feeling it's doing a loop the loop. I do not understand technology. I don't know what to do about that. Is that better? Oh, she's gone away again. Ah. Maybe, Patricia, you had something on at your end with speakers on. More than one thing with speakers on, which may do it. Let's sing row, row, row. Yeah. <laughs> it's looping. Yes. I know. I'm sorry. Yes, we need M because I'm no good at this stuff. Or else we need um, Violet. She's good at the techie things. What's that? What have I done? Oh, my God. Ah. Well, you know when I spilled tea earlier? Yes. Well, I've definitely spilled tea now. All over the dogs. Think of me. Oh dear. It's dribbling all over the floor. I, don't, I expect you can probably hear it. That's a bit not looping again. Uh, I've just got to get a towel. I have one right here. I don't have to go far. Good Lord. Cluts or what? Yep. Definitely cluts. That's me. Biggest disaster area ever. Just got to mark this up. It's a marketry table. My aunt's that her husband made, my uncle. There's better. I'll pop that there and that there. <laughs> now then, let's <laughs> go and pull in this. Yeah, let's work it out when we have access to Emma and her knowledge. I'm pulling this up because there's not a lot else I can do at the moment. <laughs> oh boy. Now, that's a better red, if you ask me. Don't you think that is a much better red than the other one? The other one was carmine. And this was, uh, yes, quinacridone yellow red. Kryla, artist professional acrylics from Dalaroutney. So they let that one dry. <sighs> Uh, 
this one has now torn because in the catastrophe <laughs> um i dropped things on top of this print but um, i'm now going to drape it over a radiator over there in the hopes that it might dry a bit quicker they've actually got the heating on at the moment There we go, that one should dry nicely. Now I've got my white tissue. I'm going to try with black. So, red on black or black on red? I got too much stuff on here. Gonna have a go with that one. Now then. We know which side of the, this to use, so that's something. Black. We're going to have some red bits, but I don't mind that, which is a good job because there's not a lot I can do about it. Catch fire? It's only on a radiator. It's a closed system. Right, nearly got a nice line of paper on this again in the kerfuffle of the tea falling over. I mean, it was a full mug of tea. I'm going to have to wash the carpet now, aren't I? What a good job we have a carpet washer. <laughs> Don't tell Ian. Don't tell Ian. What I really need is a big sheet, really. I'm going to pop that there. And then that... Oh, there. Where did the other one go? There it is. And that there. And then let's just spice it up a bit by adding that. What else have I got around here? Other little bits and bobs I could add. Well, I've got a big washer made it specially get a big wash huh? there we go need a bigger bit of some um, Tissue really. Which I haven't got. Well, I have, but it's in the drawer. Black cardstock. Yes, cardstock would do. I don't have any black cardstock that I know of. There might be a couple of black sheets in a pad somewhere, but no, I don't know of any. Aren't that? I'm going to pick some of these up because I think it's because they're all fallen down and it's making things a bit more difficult than they need to be. Except that those need to be fallen down because they don't stand up. Did we lose Patricia? Yes, probably. I'm just picking up these two edges here. Like that. Oh, I mustn't drop me washer. This is a big thin washer. Which I did not use until now. 
this bit. Well, we'll call this stream the disaster one. Yes. The one where everything falls off. <laughs> oh, you're still there. Thank goodness for that. I wouldn't have been at all surprised if you'd left in disgust. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I'm an utter mess. I think this wet strength tissue is better. Because that black is coming up nicely. So I've got black and white anyway. And I definitely wanted some black and white. Live and candid. <laughs> Certainly candid. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now, where's that piece of card again? Pick up the rest of that. The other way to do it, of course, is to get these shapes... Stick them down, well, put them down, and then lightly spray through them with something like Isinc Gold, Gold Wine, something like that. That would work. Good mucky muck on the flat, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice, actually. Look at that. I mean, I didn't expect to get anything, mm, but that's quite nice. <laughs> well, well. So let's get these off. So we've now got different colours on the other side of that. That's a weird shape, but I really like that. It's the sort of while I was experimenting with um, making the shape. Half the time, it's nowhere to put them all. Right. Now, get that to dry. So we've got time to sort of sit and think about it for a minute. Glimmer mist. Could do. Could do. I was thinking more trying to get... I'm trying to get for reds and golds and reds and silvers and reds and coppers and reds and yellows and, you know, that kind of thing. Don't really want to go too far outside that uh, color range because of the what I'm going to use it for, you see. So I've got this Naples yellow green. And I confuse that, but this is going to be the gold one, this one. This is iridescent precious gold, Pabea. And I've got the light gold Amsterdam and the Arteza Aztec gold. I haven't used the Aztec gold on this yet. So let's have a go with that. Now, that will be the one to test there. I can't tell because I've got so much black on my fingers. No, it's not dry yet. <laughs> right, let's get the old-fashioned fan. This one. <laughs> Mop up before you lift the stencil with another paper that is. Yeah. The spills, it's error proof that it's really live. Yeah, what about the stain in the very expensive carpet? <sighs> <There's> proof. <laughs> oh, it's such a good job we've got a proper carpet cleaner. Going to have to do that next week when he's not there. He's in the other room at the moment, playing games, I expect, or watching TV. If it was a weekday, he'd have gone to bed by now, and I'd be safe. <laughs> Now, what am I going to put on here? Gold? Yes, I'm going to try the gold because gold came off quite well on the white. I'll get some white tissue while I'm waiting for that to dry. A big sheet this time. I've got a smaller one, but I want to try it a big one.
Yes, talk amongst yourselves again. Haphazard or what? It really is live because she keeps leaving. Going away. I don't remember where I put the tissue. I did a whole sheep of it. I have got braille paper. I haven't actually used the braille paper. I don't know what that is. I think that's an old piece of piping tape. I might even be onion skin because I don't know what the stuff looks like. Everything else dry. Now it's looking dry, yes, but that isn't. We don't talk about all my whoopsies on the carpet. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I think we talk about mine. I've got braille paper. I haven't used it before because it is so expensive and I've got this I don't know what it is I found it in a drawer it could be tissue paper I have no idea if it's onion paper because I don't know what onion paper is like oh look at that guess where the big tissue was on the floor next to me <laughs> oh bye Hazard. Does Ian watch the rerun? You've got to be kidding me. He's not a crafter. No, he doesn't watch reruns. <clears throat> so I've got a nice piece of tissue. So I'm going to put Aztec. Where's the Aztec gone? I had it a moment ago. Right in front of me. Yeah. So that one, is that dry? No, it's not. It's coming off still. Yeah, good thing. Very good thing in this case. <laughs> Boy. We have the plastic mats on our floor, so the chairs roll without damaging the carpet. It also comes in handy if I spill things. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> God dear. See, this is actually looking matte now, so I know that's dry. In fact, it's slicker than the rest of the gel plate, but that is not. Yeah. It's getting there because I can see that edge is. And I've now got my camera well down where it should not be. That's better. Now, ready for some gold? Let me just test that dodge here again. Oh, that's much better. Here we are. So it's dry.
Yes, it's much better, isn't it? Now I've got to get rid of some of this gold. Over there. Does anybody know how to tell if something's onion skin? I mean, for somebody who's never seen it before. I think it's just a bit of tracing paper, very thin tracing paper from the olden days. I found it at the bottom of my dad's drawer. we go big sheet because we've got the 12 by 14 there and there's no way I'm going to get that little one on there not all the way over here we go I am so sorry, folks. Being such a dweeb. And now I've got gold on there. Oh, dear. Just not my day. What do you mean a corner in here that's irritating you? A corner of your room or a corner of one of your sheets of art or something? Redone it several times. I wish I only had a corner that needs redoing. I mean, I've got a house that needs redoing. Your room, how oh, right? It's like, yes, I know. The panic is here. Let's see if I've got anything here or if I'm just mucking about. Because we know I'm mucking about anyway. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. Let's talk about something interesting. This is a big stencil I've made. I called it circuit board. And I did a smaller one. Uh, and there's various bits and bobs right now all over the floor. Yes. Oh, here's the other one. See, I wasn't sure about these bits. And in this one, I've closed those bits off. Like that. Can you see that? Anyway, <clears throat> it's the it's the same one you can see. <coughs> I think this is it's just not live anymore. I think that's why I'm not seeing what I'm doing. There we are. I'm trying to help me figure it out. Yeah. So I've got uh, that one much better now. <coughs> <coughs> The great thing was that when making this, and this, and especially the big one, I got some extra bits with it. So I got little pieces, like, and big-sized ones as well. I, I can't pick them up. I, I... <coughs> I'm so sorry about the coughing. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I tried um, cutting out some food to see if it was one of my favourite foods. Well, luckily, it doesn't appear to have been because uh, I started coughing merrily, <clears throat> even though I wasn't eating them. And I did this one. I've also managed to do some of these separately. <clears throat> 
and I thought they were here, but you know, this is Chaos Street, so it could be anywhere. <clears throat> See, this one is this one. <coughs> oh dear. There we are. That one. Two different versions of the same thing. I did show you that one, didn't I? Quite like that one. And that one. <coughs> right, while that's drying, no, I'm not okay, but I'll be back in a second. Just go make a noise outside. <sighs> and collect the gold on the way back in which is lovely and dry now Yeah, well, I've tried reducing some of the medication that um, is known to cause cough and acid reflux. <clears throat> and I stopped using it and it had no effect whatsoever. So there's the gold, that gold piece. Now, that's the light gold, that one. So we're just about to reveal <clears throat> the Aztec gold in a moment. Well, it's coming off. It's not completely coming off, but I'm getting a good deal of it. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Didn't pull the black off. <coughs> yes, the gold is lovely, but it's um. didn't pull the black off. I reckon I'm going to abandon tissue for a while and use card. Might be the only way. Gonna have a go with the circuit board after this because I can. Oh, that is not dry. <laughs> right. So, <clears throat> what I might do when I get this dry is I might go over this with that yellow red because I like that yellow red. And you never know, it may come off on, on the board. On the card. <coughs> this is for my swatch journal. <coughs> which I said in the description. The idea being that I want to do something more, you know, I don't know if you've seen Froil Davis. Um, I know Mariah and Patricia probably have. <clears throat> and if you haven't, I recommend you look at them. She's doing this 100 days of collage, Froil Davis. And I saw one that she did with reds. And she is nuts. Patalysis. Froglets is a hoot. Froglets? Oh, 
What is froglets? <coughs> Treated a year for coughing. Yes, well, I've had this for since 1919, about November, uh, sorry, not 1919, 2019. <laughs> yeah, I've had it a long time. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. <clears throat> Frog oh, I see. <laughs> and it was paralysis. Paralysis or patalysis? Patalysis. Or paralysis. <laughs> froglets. Because nobody, uh, nobody with a dictionary has heard of froil, that's why. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Coughing and spluttering all over the place. It's probably something nervous, you know. I mean, it's definitely not just nervous because uh, <clears throat> Dr. put a camera down and had a look and he said, he gave me some medicine. To, I went away and took the medicine, came back. He had a look. He said it was better, but he had a better medicine that might work a bit more. Gave me the different one. I'm not sure if it is, <clears throat> but at least we know that um, that medicine was helping. What I don't understand is why does it stop for a while and then why does it suddenly start up again and I'm not eating anything different, I'm not doing anything different, I'm barely doing anything. But I look up froglets, yes. <laughs> froglets, froglets. We need some froglets. Now, that's not dry there. I can feel it, isn't it? It's coming off on my fingers. <clears throat> Move that out of the way. That. Is it that one? That's the one I want. <clears throat> That's better. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Hooray! I'm going to do this with the uh, paper, thick paper, copy paper. Because Froyle had some really sumptuous um, red papers. So they were red to begin with. You didn't have to put red down because it was already red. That's not enough. I know you say you shouldn't be putting more on, but look at it. I need more. Nettle tincture. I painted frogs once and they were definitely very small frogs. They were poison dart frogs, the blue and black ones. I uh, had a video of, what's his name? David Attenborough, looking at them. It's not going to work. And I had to freeze it. And every so often it would start going, bitty, 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 bitty. So I had to unfreeze it and then freeze it again. A bit further on so that I could sit and paint the dang thing. Three weeks. I want that one to do that top edge. Keeping them still. That's not a bad idea. I've been trying to think of something else naturey that I could um, do some more stencils of. I've got trilobites and I've got turtles. I think we should have a look at that other one over there. 
Yes, let them hop across a wet plate. Yes. What a good idea. I'm just going to pick these up. Let's get that other one over here. See if we've got anything on that one. This is the black tissue. I'm just going to bung it on top. Oh yes, that's nice and dry. We've actually got those red prints of Sydney Z. Look at that. Look at that. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Messy palette. Hello, Messy palette. Oh, that's Diane. Hello, Diane. That's not too bad at all. Could have done with putting the big ones on, but I hadn't cut them at that point, had I? Oh, ho, ho. So that's nice. Nice. I wonder if this is ready yet. Sort of. I'm getting a bit of a print. That is not bad at all. There's too much white on there for my taste, but I'm quite liking the effect. <clears throat> I would have preferred it to be completely red. I think the other, other way to do it would be to just bray a red onto the paper, let it dry, and then come back later. Yes, carry on. Did it work, Anne? Did making the um, swimming pool with the, your dad's wet concrete, did it work? You dug a hole, added concrete to the edges, filled with water, and added tadpoles before bed. Sadly, no one informed us that concrete had to cure. We had tadpo tadpole fossils in the morning. Ah, oh. yes, I had a feeling that was going to be a disaster story. <laughs> Poor little things. Oh. Now, what am I going to do with this remnant? I, I can't. I'm getting some thingies for the back, but I haven't got one yet. Yeah. Copper? Silver? Silver might be a, an idea. Or, just to be different, I could try this new Naples yellow green that I haven't tried before. I think I'll do that. Is that dry yet? No. <laughs> you were sad, but your brother turned it into a science experiment for you. Mm. Well, that was clever of him. Yeah, what a nice brother. There it is. Looking for me fan. Trouble is, you see, I set out with an idea and I follow that idea through using black, red, gold, black, red, gold, red, gold, black, red, black, red, red, black. And then I get bored and I go, I want to do something else. The red's done. That's very nearly done. It's not 
quite coming off on my thing. It just feels a very tiny bit tacky. Yeah, okay. Yes, I think that's that's ready. That's nice. Good story. The new rule, tadpoles return to their natural puddles. Yes, very good idea. Now, <clears throat> what did I say? Neville's yellow, what's it? I could put these down again and see what happens. That one there. That one there. That one there. That one there. And this one, or maybe not that one there. This one there. Oh, I need to trim that. I can't I can't do it with it like that. Shouldn't take long. I'm just giving a big cut around here. And then up there, like that. There we are. <clears throat> and that one, move that over a bit. there what else have we got well, I've got a little one of these <clears throat> and what else have I got <clears throat> big washer is a bit too big for this well that's a nice one but I haven't got room <laughs> I did have a box full of them, but guess what happened when I spilled the tea? It all went all over the floor. Let's have a look and see if anything's salvageable. <clears throat> well, we've got part of the circuit board there and a bit of uh, bit of one of them I think and we've got a centerpiece of that oh just fits in there isn't that clever of me <laughs> yeah <laughs> Im. Oh, this is Frankenstencils, all right, isn't it? It's using bits and bobs. Look, it's some of the teeth from one of those. Looks like a crown there. Steampunk. Yes. Pinwheel. Pinwheel? Oh, you mean that one? That's Sydney Z. That is Patricia and Mariah's Sydney Z in a different form. And if you like it, you have to ask... Trish, uh, Mariah, if you can buy it from her. <clears throat> Let me move that one over a bit. There. So I can get another one of those in. Oh, and I've got a big one. One of those. That's enough. <clears throat> Probably, actually, <clears throat> too much. So I was going to use this. Because I can. Now, um, yes, let's take it all off and put this paint on. Stand it 
stack it all up over there. We know where it all is. Probably rearrange it all in a completely different configuration. much time for doing this. And I think I should put this one on first because it's obviously taking up a lot more room than anything else. And then this one, for a similar reason. And then <coughs> that. Why not? Wasn't there another? Oh, there's these things, the washers. Yeah, there was something else. It's going to have to go in there. It won't fit anywhere else. The teeth. The teeth. Little thingy poo. I've got a big one of those somewhere. No idea where, of course. Of course not. <coughs> you couldn't do this, could you, Patricia? Not with your humidity. I'm flipping lucky I can get away with it. I wanted to use this one before. It's from a mistake. Oh, bye. Bye, Patricia. Sally Forth with Gusto. Yeah. Do my best. Do my best. Right. <coughs> Papier. Pronto. Gather up that bit there. <clears throat> I'm just a disaster area, complete disaster area. I'm going to have to wait with this one. I can see that now. Try and get as much of this as possible. It's 
quite a bit of bubbling going on here. <clears throat> well, I'm getting more when I'm doing this. I can see I am. <clears throat> Very pale. Now. I want to go over this with red I think that might be quite nice <clears throat> the dog is barking I'm afraid he's going to have to keep barking not a lot I can do about it And I want to use the yellow red because it's such a lovely type of red. The carmine is a little bit too pinky for me. There we go, that's lovely. Did I? Oh, I did lift that one. <laughs> Couldn't tell for a moment there. Trouble with Patricia and me trying to do on the live stream together is neither of us is all that techy. <laughs> it's going in circles all the time. I'm like, mad. I think that's the last one. Don't see any more. Good. We'll just let this dry now. Get the fan out. At least if you watch this on rewind, rewind, replay, you can speed it up. Violet uh, had a go with the last couple of things we did that weren't immediately live. And uh, she managed to speed up lots of it and cut out loads of meat cooking. And that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? It's possible that the red through this might be quite nice, as well as the red in the middle. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Of course, I could do ombre, black and red. Or even red and yellow. That would be... Oh, I think I like that idea. Red and yellow. This is looking quite wet. And it is. <laughs> I quite like that one, you know, this 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 piece. I quite like that shape. So now quite nice. The question is, if I'm going to do red and yellow, which yellow? How about this? Because this is a sumptuous azo yellow deep 
That could be rather nice. Oh, you get impatient. I'm the one here with an aching arm. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other way to do it, of course, is to leave the paper on for longer, put it over there and get another gel plate out. I'm not so efficient at doing that as Patricia is. Patricia's got all this room around her with those racks and things to put them on. I don't have anything like that. I've got a floor, and at the moment, a floor with tea on it. <laughs> I hope he's not out there listening. It's not coming up there. Oh, it's coming up there, though. Nearly there, though. Nearly there. See, I've got a fan, the kind that you turn on and a motor does all the hard work for you. But it doesn't seem to do it any quicker. In fact, quite often I feel as if it's doing it slower. So it's just a question of standing here and wafting. I could have a go with that, you know, now. That's nice and dry now, that one. I wanted to put something red on it, didn't I? That would be great in red. I'd, I'd quite like to bray red onto that. I mean, onto... Where do I put it? Oh, yes. Onto this. And then put that onto the paper. That's what I would think of. The other option is to spray in the middle of. But now that I've cut so much off, it would just get in the way, wouldn't it? You don't have racks or floor. Oh, heck, what do you do? How do you dry your, your gel plates, Diane? Take it out of the dining room, yes. Well, I could take it out to the corridor, but there's probably a dog out there, one that goes woof woof. He has quietened down again. Maybe Ian went out to do something out there, see if it was still dusty. Because that dust storm, we were worrying about it being on the cars. It wasn't that huge a dust storm here, but in Spain they were telling people to stay indoors. That's dry. Even that's dry. Sydney Z is dry. Oh, yes, I do like the pinwheel. Definitely, that's dry. <coughs> <coughs> so I've got my sheet of paper ready. <coughs> <coughs> ready. Now, if I'm going to do ombre, I'm going to do that one. And that one. I have to take it outside, so only on a great day. It has rained for seven weeks, so not this month. Yeah, it seems to have rained for about that period here. It was raining again today. Ian was going to go out and do something in the garden. And then it was, maybe not. <clears throat> I'm to take that off there because I'm going to need that. looking good <clears throat> I live in a bus wow how exciting <clears throat> I 
A bus? Gosh. My studio is a bunk's place. The floor is the passageway. Wow. Not like living on a boat only without the seasick. Yes, you must. Yes, I can understand that. Oh, look, I've got a bit of mappy there. Ooh. Didn't even notice that. What a fool. <clears throat> of course, I've got nothing underneath this gel plate now because I haven't yet got any acrylic. I, I thought maybe, you know, those shields you can get. <clears throat> I thought I had them here. I guess not. Thought I brought them in, but um, <clears throat> they're not visible. Those those face shields for COVID. I was thinking because we hadn't really used those at all, and still using our masks. I was thinking I could use the acrylic off that, but unfortunately, it's about as minute compared with this plate. So hmm. <clears throat> sunshine today. We didn't see any sunshine today. It was just sort of a yellow sky. Ah, I've got to leave this for longer. I really must. What am I going to do now then? <clears throat> Pop this on top. <clears throat> and I could do... What shall I do with that? Oh, well, I know what I have got, which I haven't tried yet. I've got this, this green, but I don't really want to do green because I'm not in the green. I need I need other colours. I don't need the green. Uh, naps or red medium? No. There was one in one of those tubes that I did want to use. I bet I haven't got it out here. Excuse me while I do another little search, but this one just on the <clears throat> desk. Golden. That could be it. Yes, quinacridone burnt orange. So I've got it. Yes, and I haven't tried it yet. So, what can I do with that? Haven't done that one yet. Okay, we'll do that one. It's looking exciting. Might as well use these again. Use up the space. Ew. Blue and orange go great together. Are you sure, Teresa? Blue and orange, don't they turn into mud? Brown. Mind you, I do like browns. It might turn into a nice brown. What blue and what orange? That's going to make the difference. 
which was the green gold. The green gold is over here in the pot. I haven't used it today. <laughs> yeah, green gold is a lovely colour. Uh, the other one was Naples yellow green, this colour here, which is actually a lot nicer than it sounds and a lot nicer than the, the swatch looked on, online. I was just trying it out to see what it was like. Right, lifty, that's not bad, that's rather nice. Oh, that's going to be very useful. I like that. Take this off. And take that off. And that. And then that. Now we've got to do some more drawing, and hopefully the one underneath is drawing at its own pace. Where to put me dryer? Hello, dryer. What have I done with you? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Teresa. Of course, um, this is the best one. Have you seen this? This is an adjustment to Sydney Z turning it into a pinwheel. Usually you have to let one colour dry to a bit and then add another. Yes. Mm, still I think it depends on the blue and the orange. <clears throat> I mean I'd call that an orange. That's um thingy. Queen burnt orange. The golden queen burnt orange. I've got another one as well. I've got the liquid text one. Because if the liquid text one is the same colour as this, it's a lot cheaper than golden. And I would be inclined to go, right, that's cheaper. I'll use that one instead. Mm. I wonder where I put it. Well, don't fall over. Guess what? They one word from me and they all ignore me. Turquoise. Turquoise and orange? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe if they were dried first. I mean I love turquoise, but I don't know. I mean turquoise and black is lovely. Pink on the black and the turquoise, of course. That does not look dry. That looks dry. It's it's a bit nothing coming off, but it's still a bit tacky feeling. Wondering where I put the Liquitex one. Definitely wanted to try that one. That's not quite. Ah! Came off on my finger. Look at that. That's terrible. Turquoise and copper, yes, yes, they work quite well, actually, now you mention. But I am trying to do something for a project. So I'm trying to keep to the reds, coppers, gold, black, white, 
range. I mean, yellow and um, red. And the burnt orange sort of fits in a bit. <clears throat> There we are. There it is. I knew I had one somewhere. Liquitex Crinacodone Burnt Orange. I want to try that one as well to see what it, how it compares with that one. That's dry now. It very nearly wasn't. Now, I want to put black on this. Do I want to put black on this? What did I say I was going to put on it? Did I even think what I was going to put on it? I don't think I did. Copper. Yes. Julie, that's not a bad idea. Copper. Um, I've got the iridescent copper. It's not a great deal of colour in that. It's lovely, but you want it on something rather than naked. That one... That one's quite good. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it actually works pretty well. A lot better than I expected. And it's an old paint. I've had it forever. Hold your horses. Let's see if it comes out all right. Russian blue. Too late. I'm not doing blues today. I've told myself I mustn't do blues today. Because I'm doing the next bit of my swatch journal, you see. So I've got to have stuff for that next stage. Could I have that bronze as well, didn't I? Copper. I'm not bronze copper. It's called bronze, but it looks like copper. Papier, papier. Do you think I dare try that on the on the black tissue? You will be quiet. No, no, you can you can tell me about Prussian blue, but you're very tempty. I'm trying to keep myself on track here, and um, I'm not very good at it, so <laughs> tempt away, tempt away, I might do it anyway. I mean, copper and uh, Prussian blue works beautifully, and who knows, maybe the um, uh, quinacridone uh, burnt orange would work with it as well. Yeah, well, that's the trouble, Julie, you see. I do that. Now, I'm going to put this one aside because I know it's going to take a while to dry. And we'll have a look at the one underneath it. Probably not dried out as well as I, I had, I might have hoped. Because, of course, I've been sat sitting here with another jewel plate on top. So, shall we risk it? Risk it for a biscuit. Oh, well done, dear. I'm such a clutch today. Such a, such a clutch. Oh, this is quite nice. Yeah, that's the trouble, Julie. Some of them do need more added to them. So you can have a drawer full of prints you're not using. Oh, oh dear. There's a bit there that is beautiful and it won't come up. Let me try from this side. It won't, though. See? No, it, it's not going to. There we are. It tore. Yes, I should have left that overnight. It would have been lovely. <laughs> but
but it's it's not too bad. I can always add a bit of something to it. Stick it down, salvage it. It's pretty good, actually. I think I'll do some more burnt orange on that. I just want to get this bit of paper off. I can always stick it back on there. And will that one come up as well? Hooray! Look, I might be able to add that back on. What do I do with my glue? Glue, glue, glue. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to see if I can salvage this bit by pushing the glue on. I can stick that on there. It doesn't matter. one and then this one there we go not too bad not too bad at all. Right. Got a little bit of that paint up on the back there. Oh, dearie me. I was thinking I might try some sprays now. Just to see. I've got that gold there, this one. Gold mine. And there's that other Sydney Z. Just going to remove. Oh, all right. You want to join in, do you? Okay. You join in then. In which case, I may just as well pop that on there as well. Right. Remove the brayer because I don't really want to spray on my brayer. I'll do is I'll pop this here to shield my monitor. Knock everything down. Shield the monitor. Go on, lie down, paints. There we are. Yes. So if I can move that up a little bit like that. Right. I've also got coffee, and somewhere I had, and I still have, licorice. So I might have a little go with that as well. And if I put that there, or maybe I should put that there like that. I think that's better. Right, right. Hmm. 
Now, I've never used these on the gel clip before, but I'm sure I've seen somebody do it. Getting on me. <laughs> Got gold on my leg now. Oh, well. A little bit of the licorice. Some of the coffee. There we go that's plenty <clears throat> now this is probably going to go all floody and funny but there we go i'm not using that one because i want that one to dry because that one no, i like that one i like that one as well I'm running out of things to use to mop stuff up. So I'll have to use the edge of a brand new piece of card. So I've got coffee coming up there. The adding to them, I'm often not often clear on what to do. Well, it depends on what result you want, I guess. <coughs> But yes, I know where you're coming from. I do that too. Oh, lovely. Look at that. That's nice. Lovely. Now I think I might get the excess with that. I'm just just gonna make sure there's not too much excess. <clears throat> and then when it's all dry, I'm gonna pull a print on this side. So I've got some more bits off there. Lovely, lovely. So I'm gonna lift everything off. Not a lot left, is there? <clears throat> subtlety, yes, yeah, sometimes subtlety is good. Sometimes it's me. <laughs> Is it a fine line, do you find, between subtlety and me? I think the more that's on the plate, the more subtlety when you get it has more interest because there's little bits here and there. So what am I going to pull this with? I wanted to try that other quinacridone, didn't I? The Liquidex quinacridone burnt orange. So I'll probably do that. Or, or I could put black down, pull that on there. And then put burnt orange on the rest. Or maybe next time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stuck at the moment. <clears throat> Sitting in the pit of uncertainty. Uh-oh. That wasn't dry. That's dry. But that is not. Probably the best thing to do then is to find a bit of tissue, a bit of tissue, not used yet, literally. There is such a thing, probably not. Oh, there's one down there. Excuse me, knocking the camera. 
let me just pick this up on the wrong side of this piece of tissue because I can see that there's quite a bit that is not dry and isn't likely to become dry all that quickly. I reckon I can pick, pick up the wet from the sprays without affecting much else down there. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. I actually got a good print there. <laughs> Faint, but good. So, that's looking rather nice now, isn't it? Mm. How about <clears throat> Foggy, is this? Oh, are you getting that dust storm over there? Julie, I'm talking to Julie. Um, I want to put that quinacridone down. And then put those down and pull. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, this is the Liquitex one then. <clears throat> I haven't tried this one before. Move the sprays out of the way. I've lost that um, piece that I just used. Oh, there it is. Not lost, just misplaced. Right, let's have this back. See if we can pull something from this. Now, should I put that on the gold? I could do. I could put that on the gold. Now I just play no fog. That would look great with a red gold pull. If it... Hmm, <laughs> too late. Now, this is over the gold, so it may do absolutely nothing. Probably won't pull so much up because I've got the gold paint on there. Ready? Oh, 
Oh, I'd say that's not bad. That's much better than I expected. Gosh, that's not bad at all. Can you see that? Woo -hoo -hoo. Isn't that lovely? It's about time after falling over things, coughing like mad, and spilling the tea. Right, pull that up. So I could get something on that one then. Possibly. What do you think? It was pretty good, wasn't it? Yes, Anne. Quite pleased with it. Quite astonished. Which seems to be things I don't expect that work out. And there is me with another thing with gold on, thinking this would come off nice on this one. But I'll leave that gold. And I'll let this dry. And I'll pull that. Should I pull that with black? Oh, I can pull that with gold, you know. Getting Dragonfly Color Shift Raspberry. Dragonfly Glazed Violet and Blue. Dragonfly Glaze Violet Blue. Dragonfly Glaze Violet Blue Green. Jacquard Metallic Acrylic Rust Color. Finnebear Metallic Rust Paint. Ooh, you are getting some lovely things there. I have one Dragonfly Glaze, and it's the Violet... Blue violet green, I think it is, or blue blue violet red shift. That's what it is. The one I have. Gold, you think gold? Okay. Like the Aztec gold is, is quite a nice rich gold. Yes. What have I done with the fan? There it is. Underneath. Always underneath. Everything's always underneath. It's looking like some nice pattern down there. Very nice pattern. You don't think black then? I'm using the white card to pull it. No? Very nice one. Definitely not dry yet. Uh -huh. Well, I only I could only afford one at the time, and I haven't gone back and bought any more. I don't know. I don't seem to get on with glazes so well. I, I want whoop wallop. It's a bit, the subtlety is wasted on me. I'm sure if I, I listen to enough of uh, Patricia's um, using them, I might actually get something decent out of it. But I did I did use a uh, an iridescent blue. Which one was it? Not that one. Uh -uh. This one. I used an iridescent blue. It says iridescent blue green. It's Babeo Studio Acrylics. And I used that on something. I think it had some black on it before. Only a little bit. Just to, just to pull up the rest of it, you know. And it was absolutely wonderful. It would have been better if I put something down first. So as to pull out something with a bit more interest. Like I've got down here, hopefully. But yes. Lumpy up there, that bit. About that bit. 
it's all feeling quite dry, you know. I think it's time to decide whether I'm going to use black or gold to pull this up. <coughs> black or Aztec gold? Think about it. I'm thinking. I think gold would look quite good. You're still saying gold. Yeah, okay. We'll go gold. I wait a little bit longer until 49 other people say. <laughs> 49. <laughs> How many other two people there? Okay, we're doing gold. It's too late. Da -dum -dum -dum. Da -da 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 -da. dum 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 This is not a tune that anybody knows. Even I don't know it. <laughs> mm. I'm just going really softly over the top. Right, I sit down. Now. Shall I try with tissue? I think I'll try with tissue. I think I will try with tissue. And I might have to leave this one, folks. But before we go, I have one to pull that's over there, I believe. I believe so. There we go. Now I'm going to have to leave that one, but I will get the other one and we'll pull that before we go. Still feels quite cold, but we have got some decentish results. This isn't coming off. I'm going to have to leave it overnight. Ooh, that black tissue tears really easily. Uh, yes, it does tear really, really easily on the plate and all. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave that. It's tearing there and there. I think I'm going to have to leave that. I'm very reluctant to leave it. Oh, I don't know what's underneath. No, it's, it's pulling again there. It's just not quite dry. I will leave it and I will come back. You just have your hands full. Yes. Yes, well, yes, I think I have my hands full too. What's that one? That's blue turquoise. Okay. No, we don't want that. I do have another gel plate down there, but I have been on for nearly two hours, 20 minutes. So perhaps I should say bye-bye. Surrounded by paper scraps. Are they attacking you, Sharon? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so perhaps I should leave it here. Look at the stain at my hands. They're horrible. Hey. You get in a hurry, don't you? Leave it here. 
and I'll post the polls later in the group. Oogie doogie, guys. guys. Girls. Oh, I'm so hopeless. Right. I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And I'll come back when I've got something to show you of the results. Okay. So probably tomorrow because I'm going to go and get something to eat now. Okie dokie. Yes, come up from uh, for air chair and don't let the gremlins get you. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye.